yeah, so that didn't work out too well. Almost wrecked the drone. Almost crashed the drone immediately upon unboxing it, testing it out. Uh, Max is going wild. Max is going crazy. And Squirrel Tribe, she just couldn't keep it under control. What's up, Max? What's up, dog? So we're going to do a little test flight. We got the drone. Got it. Batteries powered up. Controller powered up. Connected, linked. Firmware updated. You guys can go watch countless videos on YouTube from other creators that have given you a complete rundown of how to get your DJI Magic Mavic, not a Magic, yeah. DJI Mavic Mini 3 set up. But I will say this. When you're setting it up, you need to have about two hours available for battery charging time, controller charging time, connectivity, firmware updates before you actually get out and try to fly. Most importantly, practice flying because the uh, safety sensors, as you guys are probably well aware, for collision and protection on a Mavic Mini 3 is not the best, but I've had other drones with those features and they still crash. So the key is learning how to fly without crashing. Do that first. Take the training wheels off and uh, don't rely on the nannies and everything to keep you safe. Fly safe. Max Boo, you can't pull my arm. Thank you. All right, so now here, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is Kevin taking the drone out of the case. Why are you talking? <laughs> Why not talk like that? Might as well make it fun. <laughs> if you're going to do it, go big, <laughs> right? I would talk like Bob Barker, but I don't remember how to talk like Bob Barker. So you've got to take all these safety stickers off. Does it weigh it down if you leave the safety stickers on? No, it just doesn't work. Because the gimbal's locked in place. Oh, like that kind of thingy. Okay. okay. The cool thing is that this one shoots vertical. <laughs> so the gimbal camera, camera, camera can change its orientation from <laughs> landscape to portrait. So if you want to shoot, you know, reels and shorts and TikTok videos with a drone, this one's good because it goes both ways i was about to say orientation so is this one that you don't have to put your phone in it does this one record for itself without having to put your phone in like we did with the last one we had the phone didn't record on the other one it was just a way to move it it was controlling it okay and well it wasn't controlling it it was it was a, a, a monitor a monitor yeah this one has this controller has the screen oh wow in. this thing's fancy so, you don't litter, sir. Thank you. Not as many stickers as I thought they were going to be. Then you got the knobs back here. Just screw those on. Don't lose one of those in the pine straw. Like a knob in a pine straw stack. Wait, what? It was narrate, <laughs> not <laughs> terrible comedy. <laughs> So, if you look up, based on the uh, videos that I watched, uh, this is key to look up. Oh, look up, okay. Yeah, not you, okay. the camera. Okay, yeah. uh, if, You don't have to keep looking up. You <laughs> down now. But if you look up, we are underneath this trellis. So, basically, if you set this up to take off on its own without you doing the special controller configuration, mm -hmm. it'll probably hit that. <laughs> so, we're not going to do that here. We're going to take off over here. Okay, that makes way more sense. You don't want to see if it's smart enough to navigate the openings. And odds are, you know, you want to keep your dog away from it because he'll be... Oh, no, I got him. Like, what the heck's going on? And trying to attack him. Yes. Oh, now, as I trip over him. The problem is, it says take off with caution, no GPS. We've only got six satellites. Oh, my Seven. God. So somebody said we need at least 12 to be able to, uh, to get a good return to home. We got eight 
and it's, it's turning yellow. Nine is white. 13. Okay, so at nine, it goes white. So maybe nine is, is safe. It's hard to we're, see we're here. Now up to 14. Okay. I could have recorded the screen and shown you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't have an SD card in here to do that. Okay. Can it's cool because it has a screen recording feature in it. But it says take off permitted. And it did give a warning because we are in an aircraft area because we got jets flying over all the time. But the beauty of this one is this thing is crazy light. It's under 250 grams. Pretty sure it's 250 grams, which allows it, it's underneath the weight limit that is like requiring licensure and uh, approval to fly in a lot of places where you can't fly. Mm -hmm. So that's Actually cool. Actually saw somebody, he said he got arrested <laughs> in like Amsterdam or something. Or somewhere he was, Germany or something, because he was flying a drone. They saw him fly the drone and then it was overweight, so they detained him. That's a lot. So if we're going to travel internationally, uh -huh. we need to know the They're... rules for drones and everything. Yeah. So let's see if we can get this thing to take off. I did everything they said to do. There we go. It works. <laughs> Your dog just jumped. So we'll go ahead and record. We're shooting at 1080p, 30 frames per second. The dog is losing his mind behind me and yanking on my arm. <laughs> so if the video gets wonky, it's because of the dog. So it says we're in Destin Executive. <laughs> Can't see it. Um, entering an authorization zone may cause the aircraft to exit intelligent flight mode and hover unlock this area question mark so i'll say unlock it says network connection required so um it may not let you go any higher than this that's crazy i can go higher i i gotta check that one i don't even know what that means why it says it and why i can't get out of it but out max stop hey uh. it's scaring him <laughs> You're yanking me backwards. Come here. It's fine. I hit I hit this button by accident, and uh, ultimately this changes the orientation of portrait. Scaredy cat over here. Maxi poo. It's fine, I promise. Come on. Watch. I'm going to try to pull. He's going to be like, nope, we're going to fight this one. He's like, ah, nope. <laughs> well, I, I think the good news is that it took off. I didn't crash it on takeoff. Yeah. We haven't landed yet, so we still got to worry about that. But let's just see. Uh, that's up, forward. I can't go any higher than that. <laughs> oh, now he'll come over here now. As soon as it comes down, he's gonna yank my arm out of the socket. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Was it easy to do? Not very jerky or anything? Oh, I just hit cancel and got out of that unlock screen, so I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Max, no, I, I can't. He's yanking me backwards. Max, come here, dude. It's fine, I promise. All right, You're going to break back. my arm. Return to home or land. It's just going to land. I can cancel. Right, it have I can't, babe. I can't. He's like breaking my arm. Max, stop. Hey. Max, no. Hey. No. Hey. Come here. I'm trying, but he's literally trying to break my arm. Come here. Hey. Come here. Max. Come. Come on. Hey. Now. All right. So. I can't. <laughs> the good news is we still have a drone. It's in one piece. Okay. We landed safely. The flight was successful. Um, and uh, what I was really. All right. So now it says I am you. Altitude error. I don't even know what that means. It won't show I need it. to. I need to check all these things. But basically, what I really want to make sure was that this firmware was up to date, and what's more important is that the battery firmware is up to date. They all have to tie in together. I don't know why they don't come out of the box already updated, but go figure. The drone works. It flies. It's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to uh, see Zach, check out this property, and get some pretty cool drone shots of this uh, 101 acre compound. Oh, I tried to do a zoom. Not at all. Um, Probably gonna have a bruise on my arm tomorrow. But again, much like many other things, we don't see eye to eye on everything. And there's an old saying, 
If you have a penny, take a penny. If you need a penny, leave a penny. And I think that that is exactly what we need more of today. Did you do that wrong on purpose? No, I'm always right. You're always wrong. Did you do that wrong on purpose or accidental? What are you talking about? If you have a penny, leave a penny. If you need a penny, take a penny. I don't understand what the question is. You said if you need a penny, leave a penny. If you have a penny, take a penny. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, <laughs> you did. That's not, that's not what I said at all. What did you say? I said, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck, chuck, chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood it could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> how much wood could a woodchuck chuck 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 <laughs> Yes, just like that. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. The point is, is that I am a little tired. So am I. Which of is your we're having bullshit. <laughs> you about got a hot coffee poured on your head, sir. No, I'm tired. That's why I need this coffee. Yeah, same. We spent a uh, majority of the day. I don't know what was more tiring, <laughs> walking the property or clinching as passengers in the vehicle. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Zach. I know you're watching this video, but yeah. Anyway. So that's a thing. So that's a thing. What's up, kid? Hi, kid. We're just talking to ourselves. There's not a camera. We're good. She's supposed to be cleaning her bathroom, but she's not. <laughs> she's procrastinating. A little bit um, of a procrastinator. But it almost seems like this coffee may be way too hot. Definitely, unless you want some ice cubes in it. Um. <clears throat> you, I'm ready. What you got for me? Lay it on me, sir. When the C-19 hit mm -hmm. and PPP came out, mm -hmm. do you remember what stipulations they put on being able to be eligible to apply to receive paycheck protection? You just had to be a business. You didn't even have to be a business. I remember that. You didn't, there was no stipulations. Like, you could be one person who just that day decided they wanted to go into business for something. There was no stipulations. So anybody and their mama could have gone out and gotten this, this money. And the ones who legitimately needed it weren't able to get it by the time all these people who did not need it had already taken it. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I'm glad you remember that because let's <laughs> think about it like this. Let's think about it like this. What if YouTube views were down? Mm -hmm. Which meant YouTube <laughs> revenue was down, Hi. which meant that maybe a dog over here. Side note. I could uh, find the dog. Where is it? Go this way and then go that way. Hey. Right there. <laughs> hey, Maxie Poo. What if, what if it was possible to go out and just go and say, hey, uh, U.S. Treasury, things ain't looking so hot. Uh, or, hey, you know, state unemployment office. I know a lot of people say it's not a real job, but even still, we could go and apply for unemployment. Mm -hmm. We could go and you know request some form of handout and welfare from the government. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because I don't want to. It's free money. It's not. It's free money. It's not free money. We're moving towards an age <laughs> of a uh, communist society so uh, regime socialism um why work why work when you can just be paid to to what the hell he didn't do it i think he has like a doggy cold i think he's got snot why would you Weird. work when you could just I'm touching those. get a free check from the government why like what's the point okay so i'm going to ruffle all the feathers with my answer here because I'm not built like that, I'm not lazy, I'm not willing to stop doing anything to help myself just so I can say somebody else. Oh, but I didn't mean we weren't going to still collect money from everything else. I just meant we were going to apply and, and, and have an attestation that, yeah, things ain't so great. So we can get that money from a business, then have another entity set up and just double dip. Again, we're not those people. 
I didn't say we were. No. I said, why not? Because I think it hurts the people who legitimately need it. But what about those who don't and can leverage the system, mooch off of it? Um, what is it Trump said? I know the system's corrupt I, because I use it? Yeah. 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 But I could say the same thing. You could. I know the platform's corrupt mm -hmm. because I've used it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I can tell you, I can tell anyone how to go out tomorrow and blow up a channel. Mm -hmm. And probably make anywhere from ten to $50,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Easily. Mm -hmm. I know because I've used it. Mm -hmm. Yet, people would want to vote for him for a second term. Mm -hmm. Not consecutive. Mm -hmm. But he's flat out told you, I know the secrets. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use them to my advantage. I think people like the fact that up front with it. <clears throat> so here's the thing. If you were to say, listen, <clears throat> I'm doing this because I can, not because I need to, but because I want it and I can, I think more people would be like, damn straight, than if you didn't say it that way. If you, if you, if you aimed it as a victim kind of thing and, well, I need it and whatever else, then people would be like, well, why don't you take your lazy ass to work? Why don't you do this? Why don't you There's do no that? There's no jobs. There's no jobs. There's jobs. <laughs> There's no jobs. <clears throat> There's just not jobs that some people are willing to do. So, again, like I said, we don't always see eye to eye on everything. And this morning we recorded a video. I began to upload it. It didn't upload by the time we left. The MacBook wasn't plugged in, so it went to sleep. Oh. And it didn't finish. <coughs> okay. So I'm finishing it now. Okay. But. I think it didn't finish on purpose. I think it's a little bit of a divine intervention. It wasn't one that was going to do well, or it wasn't one that you really legitimately wanted to put up? I think it was, I think it's a video that I can't put on the platform. And this disruption uh -huh. was a signal, a sign for me to know better. Do I know what the video is? Think about what happened today uh -huh. and how... Zach and I were talking about how everything that had happened to this point, mm -hmm. we knew was because of something good. Mm -hmm. And I think that everything that happened to this point with this upload mm -hmm. is because I know it can't be good. Therefore, I shouldn't put it on YouTube. Okay. It was a discussion we had this morning. And ultimately, oh, okay. things got a little heated. Okay. And I'm not going to I'm not going to upload it. I'm not going to publish it. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put it on here. I actually wondered about that after we got done. So I'm gonna put it on Patreon because I don't. I don't think it belongs on here, and I think that this was a clear sign. Yeah, I can understand that. Which will go over and break down where you and I disagree. Mm -hmm. We have different views of different opinions of what's right, what's wrong. What we should do next. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to upload it. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I will upload it to Patreon. I'm just not going to put it on here. Okay. Well, on here now, it's getting kind of iffy on what you can put on here because you just never know what they're going to, by they, I mean the platform itself, what they're going to, just none of it makes sense right now. It makes a lot of sense. It just... It's, it doesn't align with what you would want and agree with, but it okay. does make sense. Okay, we'll go with that. It makes perfect sense <laughs> why they are doing what they're doing to further. Is it stifle? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely stifle. Silence. You know why I know that word? What, stifle? Why? 300. The movie 300 with Gerard de... Nope. Gerard Butler. Butler. Yeah. I think it was Xerxes <laughs> mm -hmm. at the end mm -hmm. when Leonidas went to throw a spear mm -hmm. at him. I think they said his vision was stifled mm -hmm. and he couldn't really see clearly. Mm -hmm. That's how I know that word. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird <laughs> that I know it that way and weird that I remember that's how I know it. Uh-huh. But he, you know... He was taking a shot in the dark. Mm -hmm. But 
But he took the shot even though it was in the dark, which is what I think is the important thing he was to take gonna, away he, from it. I mean, you He's know, either going to hit it or not hit it, but yeah, he took but the his, shot either way. His fate was sealed Yeah. at that point. Is that how you want to look at it? Should I not? Depends on the circumstance. I concur. Okay. I'm just going to quote movies. <laughs> That's it. I want to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Home is where you make it. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I can't really say what Joe Dirt said after that because the platform would be censoring my content. No, there's that. Home is where you make it. <laughs> no, you have to do it with the, the right voice. <laughs> Try it. For Joe Dirt? Uh-huh. No, he didn't say it. I know. The other guy did. Try to do the voice. Uh... Or was that Brandy that said it? No, is that weird? It was a weird guy. Is that weird? Uh, yeah. Uh, Creole, like. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's why I wanted you to try to do it. <laughs> anyway, we got this drone. Anyway, we got the this drone, drone showed up yesterday, which is a plus. So we were able to use it to shoot the footage today from the compound, for which I had an interesting experience Ooh, in stop. the bomb shelter prepper survivor bunker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I couldn't even bring myself to go in it. I threw up a community post picture, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't even know if I can post that on YouTube. I don't know if I can run the video on YouTube for what happened when we went down there. You didn't go down there. No. But Zach and I and uh, Charles. Charles went down there. Mm -hmm. It's so weird to be in this point now where you have to think to yourself, how much of this free speech am i allowed to actually freely speak at this point in time it's really weird i was actually offered a sponsorship by a uh democratic led political campaign it pays good is it because you're black mm -hmm. it pays good hey coffee's still hot i can run it on the channel i could probably make a few g's like 30 seconds Oh, I can probably rake in a hundred thousand in a month if I if I said yes to all the sponsors that have reached out to me. But I've said yes to zero. It's just not the way I'm going to go. Would anybody know any different? <laughs> if I ran the sponsorship five minutes into the video mm -hmm. and I titled it and thumbnailed it for what they wanted, they know any different? Does anybody really pay attention? I don't know. I know <laughs> attention spans are short. Well, also, I think a lot of people, instead of watching videos these days, they listen to them, which is why YouTube came out with the podcast list. Do they listen to them, or do they automatically <laughs> form an opinion and judgment based on the title and thumbnail without actually even ingesting 50% of the video itself before uh, form formulating their own opinion and, and commenting so fiercely and uh, with so much conviction? Percentages, yes. There's, there's people who do that, too. I wonder if the people who do that realize that they are part of the reason why the platform is also being stifled because of the way they comment on things and, and the platform seeing it and saying, hey, we're not trying to have this kind of peop this kind of thing here. So in, instead of saying no to the people, they say no to the creator. If you're not creating these things, they can't comment on these things. I really think we should have pulled up to that $3.2 million house for sale, open house listing on a boat. <laughs> the day's not over. Holiday Isle, <clears throat> pull up on a boat, mm -hmm. maybe a yacht mm -hmm. or yachet. Yeah, yachet. For what purpose? Oh, just to establish dominance. I like dominance. That's it. I do. I appreciate that. I throw caviar at him. And can I like, bring a cat with me so I can pet it? <laughs> just a little. They might have a white cat I can borrow so I can just pet it. Really, Max is like, bring me. I'll you need a really big brim hat with some giant sunglasses. That's exactly what I was going to do. And I have to walk like this. Mm. One eyebrow. Well, I do that one eyebrow thing anyway by accident all the time. It just. Mm. You saw somebody on TV today and you're like, is his eyebrow like built like that or is that. Or is he making my face? Is that a prop? Because he was listening to, it was on Sports Center or something like that. And he was listening to, it wasn't Jalen Hurt. He was, who, I don't know who he was listening to. Some white guy was listening to somebody, but his face was like this the whole time. But I was like, is this, because it never even moved an inch or a centimeter or a micrometer, millimeter, whatever. It never moved. And I was like, wait, is this his face always or 
is he that enthralled with what's going on? He can't put his eyebrow down. And so I watch him and put your eyebrow down, put your eyebrow down. He's a puppet. <clears throat> the producers were like, you know what? We don't even want you to have your own emotion, so we're going to give it to you. And when we Draw want, that eyebrow and when we, we want, want you to be surprised, turn to your left. <laughs> when we want you to be uh, somewhat confused and bewildered, turn to your right and get two different eyebrows. I can do that because the media <clears throat> controls it all. Oh, they do. We know this one hundred percent. And when the media loses control, you know what happens. We all get screwed. They go Tucker Carlson on you, and they fire you. Mm-hmm. That's true. And then they leak outtakes to other media outlets mm-hmm. to try to uh, discredit you. To and- try to uh, it was a uh, defamation of character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> you're good. Doing? You're as good as you can be to them until you're not any more than you're dead to them. Mm-hmm. It's like Mr. Wonderful. When he's out, mm-hmm. you're dead to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shark Tank. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's like but, employers but, in general. But the, then the, the they'll audience. They'll replace you while you're sleeping and never tell you. The audience doesn't know any better. They sit and consume. No matter what. They are willing to absorb and ingest and agree with and have their own opinions formed for them dependent upon who's providing it. If Here's the thing. If Fox News made a report <clears throat> and MSNBC made the exact same report, mm-hmm. what do you think would happen? I can actually answer this. Let me tell you what I did. I actually made a video one day and I read the same topic from a left and a right uh, author. And I said, we're talking about the exact same thing, but you can clearly tell which side the person is on based off the language they use and the emotions you get after hearing this. I said, so you have to, I say all the time, you have to pay attention to what they're trying to make you hear, what they're trying to make you feel, what they're trying to make you see. And you have to pay attention to how things are written to understand which way they're trying to make you lean, what they're trying to make you believe, what they're trying to make you think. Because a lot of people don't do What they're trying to make you vote for. That too. Hey, you have your your camera on auto... Auto... um, Auto (laughs) camerification? I don't know what you just said, but yeah. No, the auto dimming. So if you get too close, you get too far away, like it lightens and it darkens, depending on what's what. I had to take mine down because I realized that's what was happening in my videos. I had to fix it. I like to leave it because it <laughs> aggravates people and makes them comment and adds engagement to my video, which helps the algorithm. Oh. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Yeah, I messed up. I, for, I forgot to set the filter yeah. setting. That's what it was. <laughs> I had to turn mine off because I'm like, why do I look like something from Willy Wonka, like the little Oompa Loompa when they turn orange, the little orange Oompa Loompa? I look like that in most of the videos if I don't put it on the brightness and then make it so it can't dim. How bad do you think people are going to lose their minds when they realize that we are about to enter into World War Three? Oh, Yeah. I think you, the word about to, I'm pretty sure we're already in it, but it's going to really pop off. I would be willing to bet that more people will take action in this order. I'm ready. We're running out of eggs, Mm -hmm. and the price of eggs is going to go through the roof. Mm -hmm. Most action taken. Okay. Potential World War III threat that will more than likely occur with some sort of uh, conflict in Taiwan, Russia, or Ukraine. U.S. Air Force pulled out of Taiwan. Uh, looming recession here at home. Balance sheets, uh, personal balance sheets uh, at risk. Mm-hmm. Uh, living paycheck to paycheck on the verge of being homeless. Mm-hmm. Living in their cars. That takes the lowest priority. Which makes no sense to me. I, I've lowest never priority. Lowest Eggs are at the top. You know, a lot of people didn't even eat eggs until they realized that eggs were a shortage or the eggs were going up in price. Then suddenly they had to have the eggs. <laughs> the egg price and shortage is out of your control and mm-hmm. it's something that you can complain about mm-hmm. and point blame at some other entity or mm-hmm. organization or maybe even the government. Yeah. Same thing with World uh, War III. You though. can point blame at these wealthy elites and these corporate giants like Walmart and their control over the masses as mm-hmm. they attempt to um, choke out the majority of the population to a point of which they can no longer survive. 
Mm-hmm. Global conflict <clears throat> that will never hit your backyard. That will ultimately have an impact on your finances, whether you want to believe it or not. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you can do about it, but you can still point blame. Mm-hmm. Personal financial <clears throat> issues as a result of poor money management, lack of education, procrastination, uh, terrible budgets, wasteful spending, excessive debt, credit card usage, revolving. You have to point that blame at yourself. And people won't do that. So or that you could point it at the credit card company for even giving you credit. But you had to apply for it. And you but then if you couldn't it. get it, then you pointed it at them anyway because they wouldn't give you credit. Yeah. Or maybe it's the bank's fault because the bank only wants to take money away from the people who don't have money. Which is why they then hit them with exorbitant, exorbitant fees mm-hmm. and overdrafts and uh, and everything else like that. Mm-hmm. But yet and still, if a video was posted, which you could easily watch, as we are now 21, 22 minutes into this one, and you're still here, that said how to improve your financial situation, Make get out of too. debt, no longer have overdraft fees, increase your balance in your checking and savings. I ain't got time for that shit. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's easier to have victim mentality than it is to have, I did this to myself, how do I fix it mentality. It goes with everything. Or maybe those videos are just not effective in titling it in thumbnails so they don't get the reach from the algorithm. And YouTube's like, I really want to teach people how to be better, but they don't. the creators don't know how to do it to get it out there. Well... If you have 75,000 subs and 20% have notifications turned on and at least 20% get the notification and at least all 20% don't click it, it's because they'd rather have victim mentality than take care of themselves. <clears throat> Somebody said, uh, anybody who sells a course and charges money to teach you how to be successful and build a business and make money Shouldn't be trusted. Oh, so we've closed down all the colleges, all the trade schools, everything like that. Got yeah. it. Got mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. It's only shouldn't be trusted if it's you or me or somebody else that's doing it and can prove how it's done and show you all the steps. Or better yet, if the information is even available for free, mm-hmm. just online, mm-hmm. maybe you shouldn't trust it either. Yeah. How great can it be if it's free and nobody's making profit off it? <laughs> I never paid to learn how to make YouTube videos. You just did a whole bunch of research and work and paid attention and you spend hours working on it. But it can't be done. No. It'll never succeed. Yeah, don't even try. I think maybe it's better if we all <laughs> sit and wallow in self-pity Sing and uh, reaffirm everybody's suspicion and Uh, confirmation bias that uh, the system is rigged. There's no way you can succeed. There's no way you can survive. There's no way you can be better, do better, try harder, do more, be smarter, take initiative, get up off your ass. Instead, no, it's designed so that we all fail. But if we all fail together and we cry about it, then the government, more than likely the Biden administration, will offer some sort of handout or subsidy to make those who did try hard carry the weight of all the others on their shoulders. This is why Biden will probably get a second term. Meanwhile, we will then teach the upcoming generation that it's okay to run away from home because the government will protect you with SB 5599. You can alter your um, physical makeup. Is that the right word? Genetics, <laughs> mm-hmm. basically, that you were born with, because mm-hmm. obviously your creator got it wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, we can send, you know, we just need you to go to work, pay taxes. We'll take that money and we'll launder it. We'll send it to other countries. We'll support them. We'll create more wars, more conflict, more turmoil to then uh, turn back on us, ruining our economy. Uh, ruining the stock market, ruining the housing market, ruining the automotive market, Mm -hmm. ruining pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tell you that we will give you free money if you vote for us again. Um, And then uh, create this fictitious border crisis that's actually some form of a a, a human child trafficking Mm -hmm. cover-up. And free labor. 
while the Keep Fed is telling you that jobs are being lost, but the White House is telling you that jobs are being created and everything's fine, while the Fed's saying that inflation is almost under control and raising the interest rates has been super effective, although people are losing their jobs and businesses are going bankrupt, but the White House is saying, no, everything's fine. Just, you know, keep your head down. Don't pay attention to that and vote for us. Mm-hmm. Pretty much summarized it all right there. <laughs> I think we're done. I mean, that's all you got. That's that's everything. <laughs>